Hi, my name is Amanda and I'm a native speaker from the United States and I'm here today with some quick tips from natives. So my topic for you today is how to choose proper materials for learning English. There are a lot of materials out there and there are a lot of really great ones. There are also plenty of them that aren't suited to you and your personality and your language goals. So I have a few reasons why the materials that you have may not be suited to you. The first problem that you have, and this is with most textbooks, I think, is that the materials are too boring. You're not engaged, you're not interested. Now this, is a, this depends on personality. Some people are really happy to go through a textbook and just systematically do the exercises and the grammar, and for other people that is really the worst way to study. So, most importantly, pick something that interests you, that engages you, that you're happy to study, and then you won't feel like learning English is a chore. Secondly, you might have problems with material that is too difficult. I see this a lot. People are ambitious. They want to learn fast. So they put themselves in a class or choose a book that's just too difficult for them. Don't do that. Start where you are. Your materials should be a little bit challenging, but you should never not know what's going on or have no idea what you're reading or what someone is talking about. The most important thing when you're learning English is to make a little bit of progress every day. So you should be challenged, but not lost. Um, also, this, if you do go this route, you probably are setting yourself up for giving up because it's just too frustrating. Start where you are. Finally, choose materials that are specific to your language goals. So there are a lot of reasons why people study English. And if you're choosing to do a prep for a test or something like that, then go ahead and go the course and language book route. But you may have other purposes. You may be getting, getting ready for a trip or have tasks at work that you need to do in English. So what you, what you want to do is rather than getting into a general English class, choose something that is directly related to what you need to learn and start with that. And then you'll have immediate feedback and you'll immediately feel that you've learned something and that you're well on your way to improving your English. I hope these tips have helped. Thank you so much and stay tuned for more tips from natives. Thank you. Bye-bye.